everyone, Steve Georgie here from Allendale. It's Monday. We've got corn and beans, maybe a little bit easier overnight. Corn down a couple cents, same thing with the beans, but more story in the wheat. We've got some technical support for the wheat. Uh, you've got Chicago and Kansas City wheat up about 10 cents after finding some support near the 200-day moving average last week. Uh, as well as some of these other moving averages as well. So finding a bit of a, a technical bounce for wheat here this morning uh, and uh, not quite giving any support yet to corn and beans, kind of on their own yet. But we'll see how that transpires as we work through the day today. Uh, the energy markets, kind of a wild overnight session. We did start off quite a bit lower for crude oil uh, as well as some of the products. But the big thing is we're waiting for later on this week uh, we've got a meeting between the U.S., Russia, and OPEC on what kind of cuts we're going to see as far as, uh, as far as crude oil, how many barrels per day will we get. And so a lot of back and forth. So expect to see some very choppy trade out of the energy markets this week as we go through this meeting later on this week and, and as far as what we see uh, from these cuts. So I think the market right now is ex expecting anywhere from 10, to, and I've heard up to 15 million barrels per day but we'll see what they have to say uh, as we go through that meeting as well. Some of the other markets, the Dow, very, very strong here today, up 700 points right now, finding some strength, finding a recovery, uh, but still very much on edge uh, as we get through these next few weeks. So expect to see a lot of volatility out of those markets uh, as well. But in the grains, Still trying to find where support is here for corn, also for beans as we kind of drift back and forth. We had seen some decent export sales last week, so can we see that again this week? We'll have to wait and find out. But right now, very light trade uh, in the grain markets. We do have expanded limits right now for hogs and fat cattle. So live cattle, we've got 450 limits uh, for cattle, for hogs, and then for feeders, we've got 450 limits as well. So. Uh, we do have that here today. But give us a call if you have any questions. We're here to help you guys out. Hope you have a great one out there. Stay safe, and we'll chat with you soon. Take care. Allendale Market Talk Podcast, a fresh take in the podcast world, giving you insight from a trader's perspective, allowing you to have access from your planter, combine, or anything in between. Subscribe to Allendale Market Talk Podcast today.